Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to make dimmer with touch switch. This is my circuit. This circuit consists of 5 parts. The first part in this circuit is 2 touch switch and capacitor. This capacitor charges through the first touch switch and discharge through the second touch switch. The second part is a buffer. The buffer is an operational amplifier with very high input impedance. The buffer transferring the input voltage to the output voltage without any change. If you don't use in buffer here, this capacitor discharge through the other parts of the circuit. The third part is an oscillator that generates triangle wave with a frequency of 150 Hz. The part number 4 is a comparator. It's an operational amplifier. It compares between the capacitor voltage and the signal coming from triangle oscillator and in the output give you a PWM signal. The duty cycle of the PWM signal depends on the voltage of the capacitor. And since we can charge and discharge this capacitor through these two touch switches, so we can adjust the duty cycle. And finally the last part, N-channel MOSFET to run in the load. The load could be anything such as LED lamp or even DC motors. Because the duty cycle in this circuit can change in by changing the input voltage, so I'm using a Zener diode to regulate the voltage. There are two important notes about this circuit. Number one, you have to use in a capacitor with very low self-discharge rate. Don't use electrolytic capacitors because they have high self-discharge rate. Number two, the operational amplifier that using as a buffer should have very input impedance. I'm using CA3130. As you can see here in the datasheet, the input impedance of this operational amplifier is 1.5 teraohm, which is excellent. Convert this circuit to PCB. Then I go to PCBWay.com. Click on code and order. Insert your PCB size, quantity and color. Then I click add to cart, upload your Gerber file and complete the payment. After two months, I received my package. Then I solder in the components on the PCB. And finally, as you can see, it's working. You can adjust the duty cycle of the PWM signal from 0% to 100%. You can order this PCB from PCBWay.com. I leave the link below in the description. This circuit is very interesting because when you turn off and on the supply voltage, it remembers the last duty cycle. That because this capacitor stay charged. I do some test and I find this circuit can remember the duty cycle even after a few hours. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.